Hi, and welcome to the 6-5 Guys Weekly Gear Update. I'm Ed Mobley. And I'm Steve Lawrence. Steve, looks like you've got an interesting collection of flashlights here. I do, and I, you know, several of them are actually old. Um, you know, who doesn't have a flashlight, right? You know, I, I really subscribe to the idea that um, to be prepared, you know, every guy out and about should have a pocket knife um, as a utility tool. And so, you know, here's my everyday carry. And along with that, you know, you should also have a flashlight. Well, if you've watched some of our videos, some of the fall and, and winter shoots, it's dark when you're getting prepared. Mm -hmm. And I've bought like, uh, I think these come like by the In dozen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I have just stashed them everywhere because, yeah. because you're, you're always losing them. But I tell you, there's there's been an evolution in flashlights. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, if I'm not carrying one, I always have one in the truck that's handy. And the the truck flashlight that I've had for the longest time has been this little handy dandy item, um, made by Phoenix. Uh, just takes one AAA thing. The and problem it, is, it doesn't throw that much light. Right. It's still an LED though. Yeah, right? it's still yeah, an LED yeah. light. Um, it's good for finding stuff in the truck, but if you're actually trying to use it for anything. Um, larger of a larger task than that. Right. It's just not up to the task. So recently I was browsing the internet and found a great product that I'm really happy with. This is by Factor. It, the model is the Cossetot 1000 LED flashlight. And what makes this unique um, is a number of features. It does come with a holster that um, you can put onto a belt or your molly webbing. Uh, this also is powered by a lithium ion battery that's rechargeable. That means that it's gonna is last, really, really cool. It's going to last three times longer than an alkaline. It is rechargeable. And because I keep in the truck, if it starts to run low, I can just plug it into the truck dash through the USB and have it recharged within a few hours. That is really, really nice. The other thing is it throws out just a humongous amount of lumens. The reason why it's called the 1000 is 1000 lumens of output. But it's staged, so you know it's a lot of light. We were just testing it out before we got the camera rolling, and as you can attest, it is super bright. Well, and if if you're looking for a non-lethal option, uh, be it uh, wildlife or, or two-legged wildlife, this has a, a strobe mode that you just you just can't even look at it for half a second. I mean, you you want to just run away. So that's another interesting thing too. Is it it gives you a, a really nice uh, defense option, yeah. both in daylight and, and nighttime. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, if you're ever doing carrying, you know, in, in the nighttime, you know, you could use this with, with that um, as an additional defensive posture. So um, as far as different functions, you know, you have a recharging port here in order to power on. It's just a simple click switch on the back. Um, this is uh, water resistant, I wouldn't say it's, it's dunk proof, but um, everything is sold up nicely. It's hard coat anodized aluminum. And then you have three power levels in terms of brightness. So at the lowest level, uh, you know, it throws a little bit of light and then it steps up to more and more. And then finally at that, that brightest setting. Um, it's got that, that strobe. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. a little bit higher. And then, so that's the brightest setting there. Um, and it's, I actually tried this out in the neighborhood and I could throw light down a couple of blocks away and I clearly see houses with it. So um, just a really bright light, you know, if you need Meanwhile, it. Meanwhile, the neighbors are calling 911, peeping Tom, right? <laughs> exactly. So um, anyways, I just wanted to show that off. Um, I think it's a great product I'm really happy with. If for matches, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get one of these and it's also got a nice l little clip here. So if, if, if you don't wanna go the pouch route or you took it out of the pouch and you just wanna, you know, put it on you know, the Molly webbing on your backpack. I mean, yeah. that, that's an other nice option. So yeah, definitely is something to consider for your Kit. shooting gear. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, hopefully you guys found this interesting, guys. Um, you know, make sure that you're prepared with uh, a knife, a flashlight, and, um, you know, a defensive weapon if, if that's something that, um, you know, is allowed. So until next week, remember, life's an adventure. Stay on target.